So your ability to stabilize and control your shoulder position, especially under load, is pretty important then. So the shoulder joint has two main components. You have your upper arm bone or the humerus and your shoulder blade or the scapula. The shoulder joint has often been described as a golf ball on a golf tee. So the golf ball being this ball end to the humerus or upper arm bone and the teeny little cup that holds that ball in place on the shoulder blade or scapula. And what that creates is a lot of range of motion at your shoulder joint. Um, but what has to happen then with all that range of motion is you have to have enormous amount of muscle control over that joint. And if you can't stabilize and control that arm bone on that shoulder blade, you are gonna end up getting injured. So your ability to stabilize and control your shoulder position, especially under load, is pretty important then. Exactly, Jeremiah, it's super important. This part on top, which is called your acromion process, which is just like a bony shelf on top of your shoulder, right underneath it is where the supraspinatus tendon lives. And if you are doing exercise with bad form and you're not holding proper shoulder blade position, that tendon ends up getting rubbed or pinched underneath that acromion process. And that's what causes the injuries that we see in clinic, like rotator cuff tendonitis and also rotator cuff tears.